Zipping along the mouth of Mobile Bay, charter boat captain Blake Michaleski spotted hundreds of dead red drums along a tide line heading to the Sand Island Lighthouse Sunday. I make my living out there, and that's a you know, and being a catch and release species, you know, I kind of count on it to be there, and, and that's why we put it back to come catch it again. And, uh, you know, we give people an experience. Michael Esky worried it could be a sign of a bigger problem. So what's puzzling is that it affects you know, only one type, you know, just one size class of one species of fish. Officials with the Department of Natural Resources, Dauphin Island Sea Lab, and USA are all looking into it. They feel they've ruled out commercial fishing, and it may not be an indicator of a larger problem. It's scary to see that many dead fish but there are a lot more fish out there reproducing. So right now, we don't think the kills jeopardize the spawning stock population. Dr. Sean Powers says likely culprits could be sudden low oxygen in the water or a harmful algae bloom, both naturally occurring, but man-made pollution can also accelerate them. Most fish kills go unsolved. But by the time you get out and investigate the kill, whatever happened, because it was so rapid, is just simply not there anymore. Regardless of the cause, officials say it's important for fishermen and anyone else on the water to document or record instances like this when they see them out on the water. We like to get the details of exactly where they are, what condition the fish would be in, and uh, if there are any other uh, factors that they see. Officials say this is likely an annual occurrence, but it's rare to see a fish kill like this in the water. We don't usually find out about a fish kill until the carcasses wash ashore. Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.